Okay, Coach, first of all, can you just start us off with thoughts coming off of you? Yeah, um, that, one's, uh, that one's a little heavy for a lot of reasons. Um, man, I'm so so honored to be a part of the, the Bengal family. I thought the kids gave it everything that they had. I thought they prepared their butts off. Man, they were locked in the whole game, and we just uh, – we just didn't do a good enough job as a, his coach is putting them in the right position. But man, they de they deserve to win that game, and we didn't. So that's what that's what stinks. Um, I thought they were ready. You know, situational football in a, in a couple areas and turnovers are going to get you in any football game. Uh, but they really reared their head here. So um, honored to be here. Honored to be a part of this team, and uh, excited about what we're building. Cody, could you share what you uh, said to your dad if you met at half, you know, on the field after the game? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't really say anything. I mean, I, you know, you just kind of feel like somebody punched you in the gut. I mean, do you play baseball? I did. Did you ever take a cup check shot? As a matter of fact, I did. Yeah, and you don't say a whole lot after that, and that's kind of no, how I feel. No, you're usually down on all fours. Exactly, and I wasn't on all fours, but that's what I felt like. But not just for me, for the kids, for the guys on our team. Man, they're awesome. You know, uh, to battle against a really good team, and you know they knew that they were gonna have to prepare their their fannies off, and they did that, and they battled, and you know, just a coach, you're always gonna go back and, and analyze all those little tiny coaching decisions. Did I coach that well enough? Did I make the right call here? Because that one would have, I mean, those guys deserve that one, and I wish I could have given it to them. Um, yeah, I mean, just how my dad said, "Hey, I love you." I hated that, but love you. <laughs> what went into the choice to have Jordan out there at the end of QB? I just think, you know, uh, Hunter does a great job kind of having a steady hand, and he had just uh, missed on a couple just decision-wise things, even on throws we hit. So I thought we were going to have to move. I thought they'd bring a little bit more pressure, and Jordan's a little bit more mobile. He had been pretty elusive in the first half, kind of extending a few plays. Uh, but I love both those guys, and they both deserve to play. It's never an easy decision. I just thought uh, if we're going to have to push it and potentially – see a lot of pressure and maybe extend some plays that Jordan will give us that opportunity. But Hunter, uh, Hunter could have easily done that as well. So, Coach, as far as uh, we knew going in that Larison was a terrific runner. I mean, he was leading the conference 116 yards a game. Did they do anything different with him? I mean, they, they gave him the ball over 30 times today. Yeah, as they should have. They should have given it to him 40 times. That guy's a stud. Um, you know, and I love that kid. I love a lot of kids on that Davis team, you know. I mean, I'm going to cherish those memories, but I'm a, I'm a Bengal, and I love the guys here. And this week we had to com compete and work to stop number three from Davis. And, yes, he's a great player. I thought they did a great job. They broke a couple tendencies, so half, hats off to the staff there when they went wildcat and had that 17-yard touchdown run right after the pick. Yeah, they did a great job. They kind of had a, you know, it was a, it was a tendency breaker rather than running the G lead to the, to the tight end. They faked it and went insert weak and, and got us on the touchdown. So it was a great call by them, but a lot of that stuff, it's it's get three the ball and get him with leverage and numbers, and he's going to break tackles and run. That guy's a fantastic player. Cody, I brought it up to the players. Um, one of the hallmarks of an improving team is that you're in games, is that you know, games are close, that you're playing well against opponents. It didn't fall our way this time, though. But I mean, what can we, what can we take out of this? Well, I think one of the great things about sport is when you put yourself in the fight, you learn a lot about yourself. And whether it's manufacturing adversity or joy or glory or tense moments or, I mean, there's so much growth that usually happens and you hope that this adversity creates growth. Um, you need resistance in anything. You need resistance in the weight room to get stronger. Um, you need to be tested uh, mentally to get smarter. I mean, there are a lot of things that you can take from those tough matches. And it stinks to be on the losing side of those but it also stinks to go on a you know nobody likes running a marathon but i think you learn a lot about yourself doing it um this season i think going into the last week I th we've learned a lot about ourselves i would love to see us finish a couple of those games uh but that's that's on me more than anybody uh, glad we were in it but not glad that we were just close you know i mean you're you're proud of the guys for fighting and doing the things necessary to have success but uh, the next steps definitely learn to, to polish those up. Coach, uh, Miles Hastings is a very good player, but he did not look comfortable at all for most of this game. Were you doing anything different along those lines? Uh, I, I, res I respect Miles so much. I mean, he's such an amazing guy, and he works, and he deserves success. I think more than anything, it was them finding success 
running the ball with Larison, and when we were stopping him, they said the best thing to do is get an extra hat in the game. So doing some of that wildcat stuff, yeah. I think it had less to do with with Miles. He put, he put some balls out there, and he's he's going to throw it on time, and he's going to put it in spots, and he's not going to put the ball in peril most of the time. And I think uh, for us, I mean, some of it's the scouting and understanding what they're going to try to go to. Another thing is a huge tip of the hat to our defensive line. I mean, those guys are grown men. I mean, they train like grown men. I know they're young men, but, man, you, you have to be proud if you're a Bengal fan of how those guys competed up front with so many local kids on that line. I mean, Cortland Horton, David Rao, Logan George, Todd Payne, all Idaho kids, and then... You know, Curtis did a great job as well with Tua and um, Chester, getting Chester back from injury helped us out a lot. But I think it was the defensive front just doing a great job and controlling most of the game that Davis's answer was, hey, let's get the extra hat and just run it with Larison and have another tailback block because by the time they got to the linebackers, we always had an extra hat. I thought Coach Rudd did a great job scheming things up, looking at tendencies on down and distance and formation and knowing what they were going to call. And... I mean, football's a game of numbers. That's why Wildcat's so effective. Um, then you kind of eliminate a lot of things defenses are trying to do, and you just got to go beat a man. And uh, we got it done a lot, just uh, not right at the end. Coach, if, it, if, it, if it's, can you comment on your seniors? Even yeah. Even though you're only with them for a year. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to know these guys like their family knows them. But I can tell their families that these guys have been through a lot, and they've given absolutely everything that they have. I know football, I think football can be such an amazing, empowering force in your life when it's done right. But unfortunately, if you listen to some of the experiences of these kids, they've had so many ups and downs, probably more downs than ups, that it, it's felt like a few gut punches. And as any parent, you never want to put your kid out there just to get crushed. But these kids have grown a lot. They've been through a lot. And they're going to be prepared for a lot of things in life. I mean, they're, they're guys you'd love your daughter to marry. They're guys that you would love to hire and work with. I mean, not just, uh, not just their resilience. I mean, toughness is an extremely valuable trait. They have that. But their output, their capacity to love each other and be selfless, it's, it's impressive to see what those guys have done after a tough stretch. I mean, these seniors, they went not just three different coaching staffs, but they also went through COVID. They went through some, some down years. Um, but, man, they, they deserve the world, and I hope the world delivers. The guys we had in here talked a lot about finishing the season, too. Just how do you sort of turn the page from, from this one? Yeah, I think it's, you know, the good thing for us finishing with a rivalry game, we have the utmost respect for Idaho. I understand they uh, they slipped up against Weber, and, we, you know, same thing. Last week, I think there were probably a bunch of people in here that thought, oh, you should be Weber. But we, Weber's still Weber, I and mean, they're a good football team. And it, it's never fun, it's never easy to win on the road, especially in this conference. So our guys know that we can play with anybody. And unfortunately, days like today leave you feeling that you can play with anybody, but you are searching for answers of, hey, what are those, what are those final, final details that we can hammer out? How do we get over that hump? And I mean, we've got two more padded practices left to find out. Then we're going to scrap and claw and do everything we can on Sunday and Monday to try and put those guys in a position to be successful. But we're going to go on the road, play in a tough environment against a fantastic team with an amazing staff. And I respect the world out of, you know, Coach Eck has done an unbelievable job up there. they got some of the best players in the conference. And, you know, we always seem to play people right after they get bit in the hiney, which is very unfortunate. But we're ready to roll. I think these guys, they could have an oncoming train. And if it had an Idaho logo on it, we'd go smack it. So I'm excited for the week, uh, excited for another opportunity to play football with these guys and just be around them.